sofa6.co.uk sponsors of the Haze Hour. And here we are. It is <laughs> Thursday, the 7th of November. Which camera am I talking to? That one. It's Thursday, the 7th of November, it is. That's two days after bonfire night. Not that the kids around here know that. Did you hear them earlier on? The bangers? Mm. I wish they'd catch the cats first instead of just chucking them at them. Well, at least we didn't have people coming round last night, did we? No, no. Penny for the guy. The no, last last so. year they came round and it was penny for the guy. I gave them a penny. Would they give us the guy? Would they buggery? They wanted to keep it with them. <laughs> Honestly, terrible, terrible. It's shocking it is. Anyway, yes, hello, good evening. Welcome to the show. You'll see tonight we have Chris in vision. She's over there. How are you diddling, cock? All right, Chris. I'm absolutely fine, thanks. There you go. Good evening, everybody. That's a very floral shirt you're wearing. I know shirt's not it's the right to... It's a caftan. Is it? The one I was thinking of lending Oh, you. that's the caf... Right. Oh, I think you'd look lovely in that, Keith. Do you think so? Oh, absolutely. I think that would suit you down to the ground. I think it would I'm suit you right. I'm trying to compare it with some of your shirts. Oh, they've all been uh, thrown out. I'm not surprised. Aye, when, when all the work was getting done, Jill's been in the wardrobe and she said, that's going, that's going, that's going, that's going. An astute woman. She's a what? <laughs> Doesn't matter. She's listening. Oh, she <laughs> <was>. <laughs> She's listening, no, you know. The door shut. Uh, it doesn't matter. Hear. She can still listen on the iPad. If you, I've oh. never, I don't know what a stewed is. I've never oh, seen a stewed. Uh, have you not? Is it a red stewed, blue stewed, green stewed? What what colour stewed is it? Any uh, colour you want it to be. Aye. Shall we do the show? I think we're better. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Good evening, and welcome to the Here's Hour. Hour. Yeah, while, good evening again. While that's been, they, they've well, been taking the mickey out of me, something chronic, these two, I'll have you know, I need to tell you. They've been looking at the titles as they went through, and, and Keith's going on about looking like Colonel Sanders, me, with the, and the, the hair, and, and that one over in the corner. <sighs> Perrier, I don't know. The things <laughs> I, I they just, they just take the mickey out of me, they do. Never mind. Yes. Now he looks more like Custer after he was scalped. Oh, that's unfair. Oh, right. Just because you can see the back of my head from over there. Oh, viewers need to be aware that where Kat's sitting, she's actually, it's like she was sitting there, so she's seeing from behind Keith. Well, if, she, if she's looking at the back of my head, she'll need sunglasses. There is that. No, I use the powder puff, Keith. Oh, all right. All right. Oh, I tell you, man. Yeah. It's surprising what these touch screens can do, isn't it? Isn't exactly. it just? Isn't it just? As long as it's just your screen she touches, what? you'll be all right. <laughs> Let's not go too far. Yes, Lamento says he thought it was a damn good Billy Connolly look. Not anymore. I've gone. You know, I'm I'm done with the kids in it, whatever that means, or summit. Something. Any look. Let's talk about e cigs Shall we talk about e cigs And if you've <coughs> if you've seen the. Uh, the promos on Twitter or on uh, Google Plus or Facebook or anywhere else, you will have seen that we're going to get a bit lucky like it tonight, and we are. And mention was made before the show started of the Vipe Bar, which is opening um, on the 12th of November, strangely enough, which seems a strange time to do it, or it's very coincidental either way. I haven't got an invite, just in case anybody wants to know, but that looks like a good idea. They, they reckon it's the first vaping bar in the country. We know better than that, though, don't we, Chris? 
Absolutely, it's definitely not. We were there on the very first vapour bar in the country. We were, it's absolutely true, and that was in, in Driffield, wasn't it? <laughs> Driffield or Harrogate Driffield. or York, we were in so many places that day. We were all over the place, but I can't remember which was the first one. Was Driffield? How long I ago think was so. That? Yes, I think it was the south, and then they worked up, didn't they? It's over a year, right? Over a year, so they've got that wrong. But anyway, given that given that we've, we've started by talking about the vape bar and, and so on and so forth, it might not be a bad idea uh, to have a look at the latest out of the vape stable. Um, so I shall cut too closely up, he can and remove the rest of the gubbins out of the way, making sure I keep everything in the right order, otherwise I'll forget what we're looking at first when we come to juices and what have you. And this is the Vipe, whoops, upside down David, well done. This is the Vipe Reload, which is a rechargeable Vipe. And it's not like any rechargeable I've ever come across before. Uh, and let's, well, let's get it out of its, its packaging and then you can, you can see, and I'm probably going to need a zoomy inny box as well, because there's stuff in amongst this that you just wouldn't believe. Um, typically, I think of BAT, they have decided to not do the norm. So when you first pick it up, it looks an awful lot like a normal vape. Absolutely a lot like a normal vape, until you spy the little silvery bit down there. But watch this, watch carefully. You would normally expect to screw the atomizer off, but watch, you simply give it a little turn. Oh. And you can see, if I turn it round, you see the little lugs? It's like a bayonet fitting on a lamp. And if I show you inside, no threads, look at that. So you just push it on and turn it, twist to lock, is how it works. In every other respect, size-wise, it's exactly the same size as a standard vibe, which means it's a tiny little weeny battery. Beautifully packaged, but a tiny little weeny battery. However, you do get two in the plastic box. Two off. I'm not doing very well on the show and stakes tonight, am I? Let's zoom out a bit, it's easier. I've got uh, bold and, uh, and, 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 and standard flavour here, uh, standard flavour, standard uh, nicotine. What's the word I'm looking for, Chris? Strength. Thank you. Standard strength. Bold and standard. So that's 45 mil and 30 mil uh, milligram is what they've got. And I've, I've clagged the red one on. I've given both batteries a charge. But And, and this is something else as well. I mean, they've really thought about <coughs> this. Packaging's good. Let me show you the charger, which obviously has got to be different, so you're not going to get muck steep. It comes with a nice little cover on, so it doesn't matter which uh, which USB you're using you can make sure it keeps clean and it's got all of the the logo in and everything on and, and dead easy to use it's actually quite impressive and the price isn't that bad either uh, for a starter kit with two e-cigs in full set of instructions it says please read before use of course <coughs> I'm a bloke I didn't because it was damned obvious how to make it work do you want to have a blast at one Keith I'll give you the blue one to have a go at and I want, I just want your first impressions uh, straight away. I'm not going to tell you anything. Is I'm that not the gonna... first one you know of with a bayonet fitting? I've, I've not come across a bayonet fitting before, have you, Chris? No. I haven't not an E6, but I know I've got a disastrous reputation with my light bulb. Mm. Well, it's, it, it is. It's like a light bulb fitting. It's a bayonet fitting. Mm. It's not a fiver for the starter kit, Femoral, no. It's a... Uh, 15 quid I think which isn't bad and you do need 45 milligram on these porky batteries but that's the 30 now I'll, I'm gonna cut the Keith now yeah what do you make of that quick first impression it's a very tight draw isn't it it's tight for you is it so yeah, I think it's slack as a welly top. Sorry, tight. Probably the wrong word. It's it's it's. Well, interestingly, I'll cut back to me. If you use it as it comes out of the box, it is quite tight, but you're getting out out. 
and there's two little yeah. air holes. There's, I mean, there's nothing much coming through it, is there? No. There's two air holes. If you cover them and go for a really tight draw, then it actually produces I quite can't nicely. I see the air holes. Oh, they're very small. Shall I go to close you up your cam and have a look at them? I'll do that if I can. Right. Now, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to zoom in as close as I possibly can. I do apologise, but you can just see the air hole there. That'll tell you how close I am. Probably just slightly out of focus, actually. Whoop, there it is. What? That's one air hole. There's two air holes. One either side of where it all fits in. Ah. Found on, on the On the silver ring? Yep, on the silver right. ring. Right. On the silver ring Found is where them. it's at. Um, from the outset, I think I've got to say, these are definitely not aimed at me, at Keith, at Kat, or I would suggest at 99% of the people that will be watching this show. They're not aimed at us. These are primarily aimed at people who, as of today, are still smoking cigarettes and probably haven't come across e-cigs at all. In that regard, and I'm trying to think back, I'm, I'm reckoning, certainly with this 45, I'm not getting performance that's much under what I used to get with a king size tab. That's a hell of a difference when you plug the air holes. Mm. So do the instructions tell you to do that? No. The instructions don't mention to do that. I think they're working on the basis that there's a, mm. there's a lot of people, uh, a lot of people when, they, when they're smoking don't do what we northern lads do, which is to have a dangle and take the draw and then take it out. But actually take a draw with I've seen many folks smoke like that over the years. But once those air holes are covered, it definitely does work a lot better. It gives you much more vapour, oh, thicker vapour, and a much better throat hit. And this is something that, um, you know, they need to know. Now, Joseph's just said he simply do not want to vapour in something that looks like a cig. It's a matter of personal taste is all. Yes, jo Joseph, I agree with you. And as I say, for the majority of people that will be watching this show, that is the situation. This is the kind of stuff <coughs> I like. I don't want anything that looks like a cigarette. I really don't. But these, these look-alikes, these cigarette-sized look-alikes, are not aimed at us. What they are aimed at is, I think at any rate, is offering the current smoker something that has the least possible deviation from familiarity. Would you agree with that, Chris? Oh, she's not listening. She's, yeah, I can't hear you. She's muted herself. I did. You did. I muted myself because I'm a noisy bugger. Um, yeah, I do agree with you. And If something has to look like an e-cig, then it's got to meet all the other criteria that a, a smoker will require mm. and the last bite that I tried with its feel was gorgeous you know the softness rather than the rigidity that you tend to find with look mm -hmm. it's so yes I do agree yeah, yeah but I mean that's one aspect of it but let's be fair Right, the one advantage is it's rechargeable. Yes. But unless you cover those holes, you're getting nothing out of it whatsoever. Mm. Nothing at all. Certainly doesn't doesn't perform as well as the vape disposable. It, uh, Which leads me to believe that the uh, they've got a different technology in the in the soft cartomizer, and I am going to be taking one to bits. But waste not, want not. It's got forty five milligram juice, and I might as well get that out first. So I will take. I will have a look and say the the replaceable um, cartos come in uh, in twosies rather than anything else. There you go. Come in a, in a box with two in. Again, really nicely packaged. I mean that there's a lot of thought has been put into the packaging, um, and I think it's I can't remember what it is. Five or six quid for uh, two. 
might be four. It's all on the Vibe site anyway, uh, and I'm sure there'll be some, uh, some offers and what have you. But as I say, it's not, I don't think it's anything that anybody that's watching the show is going to be going to buy for themselves. I do, however, think that Lucky Lakeys have a place. Doug Phillips is saying, my builder wants to try an e-cig but wants a cigar like as that is what he is used to. Now, when I came into, into e-cigs, I came in with a cigar like. Yes. Chris, you came in with a, a cigar like as well. 901, wasn't it? It was a 901, but it was bright pink. Yeah. Um, because I had the opposite feeling. Yeah, it, it looked familiar, but I didn't want it to look like a cigarette. I'm a bit of an extrovert, so I wanted the world to say that this isn't a cigarette, and the way of doing it was to order a bright pink one. Yes. Yeah, but whether it looks like a cigarette or it doesn't look like a cigarette, it just doesn't produce. I'm picturing somebody who you might be persuading, you know, try e-cigs. Mm -hmm. I'd be extremely disappointed if, if that's what I was trying. Um, um, to be honest, it's so long since I last had a fag, I'm just not in a position to be able to say one way or the other. It, we need to, I need to get these in the hands of somebody that smokes. No, but I'm, well, you know, it's, it doesn't produce. Try that one. See if it's any different, because the third he's got Without nothing. Without using, right. Yeah, just try it. Play with it, see what you think. That is Better than that one. This is this is start, startlingly unproductive. This one isn't it? <laughs> it's horrible. There's not. <laughs> Chris, have you got a bread poultice there? Exactly, <laughs> a poultice. I need I need a bread poultice on the back of my neck to draw this. God I Almighty! We we'll have to be honest here and say, when something is mass produced, you will get the odd one. That doesn't work as well. That's that's much better. I'll uh, I'll take this um, thirty milligram off and put a forty five on. Then I think, see whether it's the the cart or that makes the difference. I mean, we as vapors have got used to this, especially when we started five years ago, because you would, when cartonizers first came out. You had to suck like hell on them sometimes for a day or more to oh, get them to work. Absolutely. The little, while I'm doing this, you can see there's a little pulley off piece to, I'll do the pulley off piece. It's all, I mean, it's all very, very nicely packaged, very nicely done. Um, I saw Miles was asking, what's the flavour like compared to RY6? There is no flavour. It's uh, Ego Pure. Yeah, Ego Pure with no flavour. But mind, I'm getting the bat off the nicotine in the 45. And there we go, doink, done, no screwing. Which is a shame, I've always been fond of a good screw, but no matter, see if this is any better. That. Take a oh, that, that's better. That's better straight away. Mm. Yes. I can see the yes, case. Yes, that's producing like this one. Yes, well, right, right, so there we go then, the 30 milligrams, the blue ringed ones. We shan't bother with. 45, if you're getting one, if you're going to get anybody for anyone to try, if anybody's looking to get one to try to, as a proof of concept to get into ACIGs, then it would appear that the 45 milligram would be the way to go. 30 certainly wouldn't cut it for me. You're more happy with that one now, are you? Mm. Now that's good. Yes, it's definitely operating better, is that? Mm. What's chat saying? Red rings are best. Yes, Jeff Benyon, red rings are best. <laughs> ah. Got to leave it to Jeff, haven't you? He's always going to be there. Uh, yeah. <coughs> I'd rather not leave. No, you might be wise Better there. in the corner where he belongs. <laughs> Indeed. Um, yes, quite. What we'll, what we'll do is we'll take a quick ad break and then when we come back, you might recall a couple of weeks ago, uh, the offer was made to send the 12 quid disposables and indeed they have arrived much as you might expect and when we come back we're going to have a look at these um and uh, yes king size personal vaporizers it says on them i'll give you all the details after the adverts we'll be back in a couple of minutes
sofa6.co.uk Sponsors of The Haze Hour. And we are back in the room, and we're going to have a look at uh, these. He said, having lined the wrong shot up straight away. We've got these. These are disposable e-cigs from Arch Archangel Vapor. There's the uh, the little business card, and there's the little logo. Archangel Vapor from Magar in Malta. It's Rob. Uh, for those that don't know, and we have these are the ones that are going to be twelve quid a pack when they finally get uh, properly sorted out and into the UK in, in the fullness of fullness. And we've got five different flavours of them here, Keith. And right. it'll be interesting to see what you think of them. One of them is nicotine free. Really? It just has caffeine. That would be this one, the Rev. Pure energy, it says here. That's what the, 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 the flavour of it is. It's pure energy, it says down the side. Fantasy, we'll start with that one. Start with the nicotine free <coughs> now again oh, come on david get it right five in a pack just like the uh, reg six we talked about five in a pack should be 12 quid a pack and you can see these have all got the tips on i've had one draw there you go i'm just trying to take think. the rubber thing off the end i'm just trying to think what would be the market for these people who and this is the the thing and this is going to upset a lot of ants the market would be people who have seen other folks using e-cigs fancy giving it a try but don't want to use nicotine these ones with caffeine in i mean like me i'm sure you tried herbal cigarettes in your time yeah it was like smoking a bonfire yes yeah absolutely waste of <coughs> time complete waste of time right mm. is... go to keith cam Red end on the caffeine one. What do you reckon of that? It's definitely better performing than the uh, Vape Reload. Mm. Bit like smoking leaf mould. <laughs> Tastes a bit like sherbet to me. I should really have uh, driven up there with five of these for you as well, Chris. <laughs> If I'd thought, although you might not have enjoyed it. So that's that's working a bit better for you, is it? It hasn't air holes, I take it. Not not no. up there, no. The air holes, the air holes on these are at the bottom. It sucks the the, the air in at the uh, at right. the, the lit end, if you want to call it that. Not that it is, but where the LED is. So if you, if you stop the air hole off there, uh -huh, you can hear it whistle. Caffeine. That's what that's got in it. Caffeine, it says here. 1.5% yes. caffeine. 
15 milligram of caffeine. It's different, I'll give it that. I would say I have tasted worse. Aye, I have. <coughs> it's it's quite all right. Is that I'll I'll stick mine back in the box. You shove that yours does. in your top pocket, and let's. <sighs> I've got one that here called death. Strong Menthol, Chris. <coughs> all right. And because I'm brave, and, and and a big lad wearing big boy trousers, you don't <laughs> like menthol either, do you? No. Oh, I do yeah. No, I'm looking at Keith. Keith no, doesn't. you're looking at Keith. Yeah. Keith doesn't. No, uh, right, I'll be the big boy with the big. <laughs> you're not going to try one. Oh, either. that's dedication for you. Uh, I'm interested. Well, I'm uh, just checking to see if there's any more. No, there's no more menthol. Right, it's menthol. What's that? Well, if if Moonlit's asking how effective is caffeine delivered that way, would be interesting to know how it compares with drinking it or taking it in pill form. I'm not feeling like I've had an espresso. Let's put it that way. Mine have only had yeah. five or six draws. I'd need to give and it a bit. I've heard an awful lot of positive things about these caffeine um, e cigs. Oh, awful right. lot. Have you? Mm, uh, very popular in America. Oh, I can imagine they so will be, yes. Is that much milder than Sav's menthol? Keith, everything is milder uh, well, than uh, Sav's it's menthol. Got that it's looks nice. It's got a black tip on it. Uh, it's a black. Cork with tip, a green black filter tip. end with a green light on, yes. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> that's See, that's that. changed enough. <laughs> Just give us something like that. Well, they've all got black, black fil oh, Jesus, black filters <laughs> on them. Actually, that's it's minty. Rather, have a try. Go on, be a devil, Keith. Judging by your expressions, Dave, it's not too bad. It's it's definitely not Sav style menthol. No, now that he's got that, I'll get another one out. No, I mean this is not this is not menthol like it would kill you. Oh no, it's not. That's quite a mild. Mm. And you can taste tobacco behind it as well. Mm. You mm. can actually taste it. It's like it's a bit like sucking a polo while you're dragging. On a fag, I suppose. A bit like sucking a four. It's not. It's in fact, it's like RY4 with menthol in. It's mountain vapor juice. But it is. It's a bit like menthol RY4. No, I mean you know my views on menthol, mm -hmm. and that's not bad. It's not overpowering, is it, in any way? I've had worse, and it's definitely performing. Mm. It is. Which is good. Um, and this would be 1.8% nicotine, 18 milligram. Right. And I'm getting a, I'm getting a throat hit out of mm. it. So alright is that. Mountain mountain vapor, strong <coughs> menthol flavour. I would dispute the strong having had salves, but then if you take salves as being a hundred well there's no else would get above fifty, is it, Chris, really? No. No. She likes her menthol, does Sav. If you're in chat, she'll no doubt type in, I like me menthol. You keep thinking when you just have a casual glance at it that that's a, the logo's a build-up of ash. Yes, I suppose the, you would. Yes, that's the menthol. I could live with the menthol. You can top mm. pocket that one. Let's go on to the next one of these. Out of principle, I haven't top pocketed any of them yet. Haven't you? Oh no, no. Oh, you I have permission. Don't want to be, uh... for, for the benefit for the benefit of those of you watching in uh, black and white, uh, that was green on the tip. And I'm going to take these <coughs> to the, the knees, mate, as well. If anybody wants <coughs> to give them a go, they'll be there to have a blast with. This one is USA Rich Tobacco. Blue, yes. Blue band on it. This one, blue band on it. USA Rich Tobacco. So. The strong menthol, I could manage it, and I found it quite palatable, which is nice. Right. Right. Rich, what is it? It's USA Rich Tobacco. Well, again, 1.8%, 18 milligram. You need 45. But it's the States we're talking about. They don't do 45 in the States much, do they? No, they have much. Um, they don't take as heavy nicotine laden as we do. No. What colours your light on that, Keith? Have a drag and let me have a look. Blue, I think. Yeah, it's blue. That's quite pleasant. Mmm. Sort of toasted flavour. It's uh, it's reminiscent of um, 
Yeehaw, Lasso's Lariat and uh, The Big Country. It's nice. Oh, that is nice. Mm. Egomaniac saying about the highest to get over there is 32 to 36. It really needs 45. It really needs 45. But it is producing. I'm liking that. That five for twelve quid. What's that? Two pound forty each. Yes, that's <laughs> not bad. Not bad. That's like I think it's canny that. Mm hmm. Mm. Again, yeah, a... you could you could give that to a smoker. Yes. You could give yes. that to a smoker. Give them a pack of five, and they'd be set. Mm. They'd be all right with that. Mm. I think. Right. I'll put that one back in the pack. Let's go for the next one. Uh, oh no, I've put it in the menthol. That's the wrong place. Take it out. Put the menthol out of the way, David. <coughs> put it back in the USA Rich Tobacco. Again, from Mountain Vapors. Um, the next one we've got up is USA Mix Tobacco. As opposed to USA Rich. USA Mix Tobacco. Which would be interesting. There you go, Keith. God. Right. What? Blue, yes. Blue again. Yeah, I tell you what, somebody said they wanted a job <laughs> testing e cigs. I think I want a job testing beer like this. Be fine by the end of the night, wouldn't we, Chris? <laughs> Be right, singing Nelly we'll Dean. Go. Be singing Nelly Dean and saying to everybody, I love you. <laughs> Maybe like that on Saturday at the knees, mate. Putting arms, like it will be putting arms around each other. I'll go, I love you, mate. I've missed you. Where have you been? Be good. Can it be bad? <laughs> oh. Now I see this one is green. Is that blue? It blue. Blue. Blue? Blue it is. I don't see a big distinction between this one and the one before. No. If anything, the one before w uh, had a slightly stronger flavour, mm. I would have said. Hence the rich. Yes. This is the mix. USA yeah. mix, USA. Uh, rich USA. USA. Mm, come on, David. USA rich tobacco as opposed to USA mix. So Still nice. Oh, that's nice. It's perfectly palatable. And again, I think a lot of smokers would be quite happy to try yes. this. Soft tip again. And the, the colourway is good. Black and white and blue. Like that. <laughs> as you say, the price is attractive as well. It you certainly know, is. To somebody who, as you say, wanted a change. Well, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm, I'm hoping Simon Chapman's watching this. For years he'll be having paroxysms around about now. He'll be, uh, yes, that's palatable. Very, very palatable. And the last one, <laughs> sweet leaf tobacco. Does that mean anything to you, Chris? Sweet leaf tobacco? No, sounds like a bit like a flu cure, doesn't it? Well, sweet leaf. I was just wondering whether that was actually going to be the case, whether it was going to be flu cured. There you go, Keith. So far, we haven't had a duff one out of these, and that's no. ten. That's right. Not a duff one yet. That's pretty good. Mmm. I cripped my pants, started on 18, moved up to 24, and he's now moving back to 18. But Aaron Collins has gone from 12 milligram to 18 milligram last week. 18's around... The, the normal run of the mill, isn't that? Mm. For me, go is asking for Margo, for me, go. You say tomato, I say tomato. You say for me, go. I say for Margo. Uh, Twelve pound for a pack of five. Yes, that's that's the, that's the price that they're looking at uh, that them being when they come through. They've got to readjust the packaging for the UK market, the European market. There's a little bit of jiggery and pottery has got to be done with triangles and that kind of stuff. Um, I can. <laughs> but yes. 12 quid, there or thereabouts. I'm not sure about the flavour of that one. It has a bit of a sour flavour. To me. I need to cleanse my palate. 
I have to say, sorry and all that, but uh, palate cleansing required. I've not come across sweet leaf before. It's new to me, right? Mm. Give it another go. See what you think. What was the brand name of these again? Silver Zero Sasuke. Archangel Vapor. A R C H Angel <coughs> Vapor. Uh, I shall I shall do the, the thing on screen. There you go. I'll even try and zoom in so you can see it. Hey, I've got all this technology and I can't even do a, a little <coughs> further. There you are. Archangelvapor.com. No U in it because they can't spell in Malta. <laughs> That's where it's coming from. Isn't Sweet Leaf a tobacco from the Lord of the Rings, says Chris. Who are you calling a hobbit? You two hobbits should love it. You, that, it's not Sunday, you know. Mm. Yes. There you go. Long Bottom Leaf is from Lord of the Rings. Thank you. Long bottom rings, that's from Lenima Me Papa Torson. Easy for me to say. Actually not. So what do you think of that? Um it's not unpleasant. There's a tiny little wee hint of sweetness for me, but it's just a wee hint. There's not a lot of flavour at all. No. Um it, it's kind of Dare I say it, it's kind of where I like it. I'm not a big flavour hound. Anything that's too highly flavoured, I tend not to use for very long um, because it's too highly flavoured. You'd have to get used to that. I could get used to it very easily, no, you actually. You see, looking at that from here, you mm. would think that was ash on the end. I'll turn it that way, so. i tell you what it reminds me of. You know when you used to get a drop of rain on? Yes. And you got that kind of brown scar, the stain on the, on the paper before. But it's not brown, it's black. I know that, but I'm just looking on the telly, man. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. And you know I'm colour blind. These are all right, I can talk with them as well. Yeah, I think generally the good. If you, if you were to ask me for a favourite, it would be the third one. The, what was it? Uh, the uh, the USA Rich Tobacco. Yes. USA Rich Tobacco. That yes. would that would be your favourite one, would it? That had the most flavour yeah. in my view. Which one do you like best, Chris? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'll shut up. Um, yeah. Uh -huh. At, at, at uh -huh. five, I'm, I'm going to see it at five quid for for no at twelve quid for five five for twelve quid. I've just read what Gillis has typed. Did you see? That's what's put us off. What's Where he says there's no, oh. there's nothing worse than brown stains. Gillis, get back to that corner and shush. Yes. No. Aye. Right. Where was I? What was I saying? Yes. Uh, it. it <laughs> no. No. You can be forgiven for that. That's the uh, the, uh, the yes. custard vapor man. The custard man. Yes. 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 No. No. I I'm, I'm, right. He's coming <coughs> up. I think on the weekend. All right. Aye. I've um, got the 16th in my diary. No, nah, I get the 9th on man. <laughs> Lord above. Where was... All oh, right. Yes. Um, 12 quid for five. I think... And I don't do puff county stuff because I think the puff counts are all waste of time anyway. Uh, and I think the, the cigarette equivalent's all around the, all around the houses. I'm going to give... You've got those to give a go so you mm. can time them all mm. out. And we'll, we'll, we'll report back next week. And... Uh, hey, look at that. I can see what you're doing. You yeah, I'm just looking at the packaging. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know. At, at 12 quid for the five, there could be a gateway into e-cigs out of fags, I think. There could and be. That's, that's what they're meant for. There could be. That is what they're meant for. And there's enough, yeah. I mean, there's five flavours there. There's <coughs> barrel loads more that can put together. Um, with American made juice, and American made juice tends to be of pretty high quality, I would say. So, yes, keep your eyes peeled for them, and if you know of anybody that's looking to, uh, to do the proof of concept and perhaps switch, then that might not be a bad idea. Yeah, I mean, you know, from the disposables we've looked at, mm -hmm. 
those to me, uh, you know, price wise, etc., are a good buy. Ab absolutely. I think I've got to say it. Flavour wise, they are some yeah. of the nicest flavours I've, yes. uh, I've had. Certainly in a disposable, and um, that sweet leaf's grown on me. <laughs> I could get away mm. with that. I need to get onto Rob and get a half a litre sent over, and I'll give it a try. Half a litre of that sweet leaf tobacco, I quite like that. Of, of all of them, that would be my favourite one. Would it? Yes. Yes. They're assembled in the USA with USA made e liquid, is what it says here. Mountain vapour e liquid. Um, and there's a full. I'll, I'm just I'm just going to do the close you up you can on the warning that's on the back so you can see it's it's well over the top there it is product contains nicotine and chemical known to the state of California to cause birth defects blah 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 Stanton Glantz would love it there you go Stanton Glantz well, would love I'd that well I'd go one. for the rich uh, well I'm, I'm I'm going sweet leaf tobacco well, that would be my favourite of the five we've tried not unnaturally the menthol <laughs> is my least favourite but it's not really menthol and you can taste the tobacco in it mm. these are mm. these not a bad keep keep an eyeball out like i say they're not aimed at <coughs> mind they're handy in the glove compartment wouldn't they yes for fear the worst happened yes well Th you 36 see, milligram you know more. the slim packet the the sort of top pocket test uh -huh. uh, you know that was nobody oh. would even know would they i know <coughs> i can it's, see uh, Yes, make for top pockets those. Oh, hey, that's the worst thing that can possible yeah. happen. Yes, mountain vapor is well thought of for juices. That's yeah. true, um, especially tobacco. Says ego maniac. Yeah, I, I, I need to find out whether they do a, a higher milligram because if I can get some thirty to thirty-six of that sweet leaf tobacco, I'm going to be a happy boy because that I I do like that, and I think it would be even nicer. In something bigger, and we'll talk yeah. about <coughs> this. Is a seamless link coming up? Watch right. this. This is how you do it. And we'll talk about something bigger right after the break, which is coming up now. Save the six sponsors of the Hayes Hour. And we are back in the room. And I've even remembered to press the little button that shuts the noise up in here so that you don't get nasty echoes. And I've even remembered which camera to look at. This is going well. It's bound to go wrong shortly. And I know how it's going to go wrong shortly because I can't remember where I've... There it is. That's it. Right, fine. Lovely. Um, we did say that, that, that we'd be looking at bigger devices. Uh, having We've done the ciggy likey bits. That's it. There's no more ciggy likes now. Um, and... Yesterday, I, I, I was on the hunt for replacement coils for the Aspire because my darling wife has done a Keith on me and she's nicked me Aspires now 
and she likes them a lot. So I was trying to get some, some new bases. And when I went onto the Safer Six site, <laughs> lo and behold, I came across two Aspire devices. I shall move these uh, Archangel <laughs> E-Sigs out the Careful way. Careful where you put them now. That's all right, then. It's okay, it's fine. You've got <laughs> Yes, Loads of them now, you know. I wouldn't dream of touching. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's quite all right. Um, so I, 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 uh, I put an order in and I spent some money, as you do when you can, if you can, if you have the wherewithal. And I'm just trying to line this up. This is this is this is me trying to be a bit cleverer than I usually am. I should put them side by side like that. And there you go. There you go. There are two devices here. One is a, a Mini Nova Aspire, and you can see just that it's got Aspire. BDC written on it, and the other one is the Aspire BDC, quite different in look, as you will see. And I thought, ooh, I'm going to mention these to the assembled, assembled throng tonight um, when I put them on the, on the device this morning, because I've been running them uh, at 7 watts only, and that's got RY6 in it, Keith, I'll let you have a blast of that one, and I shall be blasting on an X6 is running at 3.6 volts that's so that's they're both running at the same and these are nice mm. isn't that nice it is nice produces really well flavors gorgeous oh no did i mispronounce throng chris well, if you did, I didn't that pick it up. Well, chat has. Apparently, it's an assembled thong now. Sass. <coughs> so, uh, there, there, are, there are people in chat saying, don't you dare do vapors in thongs for charity. Don't look at me. <laughs> I do not have a mankini. Keith has. I haven't. Haven't you? Got a mankini. Two. There you are. One yellow, one green, isn't it? Yes, uh, that's so. nice. It is, isn't it? Mm. It works, works well. They're as good as each other. I like these. Less than seven quid from Safer Sigs. I do like these. Is that and all? Yep. Yeah. Replacement coils are 275. This one's got some writing on it, and like it's 1.8 ohms. So it's a dual coil, 1.8 ohm dual coil, and I tell you what, produces well. Flavour's gorgeous. These really are nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very easy on the draw. That. Look at that. Flavour floods out. Yes. Mm. What? Right, thank you, Moonlit. DD did actually say throng. I just needed a new season throng. pass for the corner. Oh, well, you've got <laughs> your season pass you for the corner. Mm -hmm. There you can. That's it. You're banished there I never heard any till the end of time or until Simon oh. Chapman buys uh, an I taste 134. When Simon Chapman buys a 134, you can come out the corner. <laughs> oh, look at that. He's got to be there a long time. Isn't he just? He <laughs> wants to see the level marks on tanks. Makes them look, look like, like a, a syringe. syringe. Well, in that, <coughs> then, can I just borrow that one back then, Keith? Thank you very much. This is going to be good. Let's see if we can get it in shot. And I have. Camera fail. There you go. On top. Come on, David. Get it right. On top of the 134, there are no level marks in the window, as you can see. And there you can see the writing. That says Aspire BDC. Um, it had to go. It absolutely <coughs> had to go on top of the, uh, the 134. Um, nice piece of kit. Really nice piece of kit in all kinds of colourways and works really well. Do you, want to, do you want to try the other one on the X6? Yeah. Go for it. There you go, mate. Look at that. Hey, this is cracking, this. I do, I do, I do like the Aspires. I think it's a nice technology and so far I've not had a bad one. Um, I've got some more uh, replacement coils coming, which I'll give you one on. No, I shall, uh, I shall give you a coil on Saturday, Chris. I needed to think very carefully how I was going to word that there because I know what <laughs> chat's like. So no matter what chat think they heard, I did not say I was going to give Chris one on Saturday. I wouldn't do that, would I, Chris? No, you wouldn't do that. See? Mm. Moonlit says that the black one reminds him of the black MT3 but with a silver <coughs> mouthpiece. 
does me as well actually thinking about it does look a bit like that but the construction uh, is is very different um I'll, I'll pull this one out and it actually comes properly to bits well and properly to bits oh this is going to be fun there we go dink right there we are in closey upy closey upness you can take the tip off these and there's the the, the center tube but you can't fill them from the top because when you look down you will see in there if i can get the light and right you can see the little silicon ring that forms the seal and the coils under that if you were to fill that from the top you would be to coin a phrase screwed you'd be dripping juice all over the place but the top does come off for the purposes i understand of cleaning you fill these and they're both the same because they both come to bits you fill them from the bottom like so just up to where the tube is and there you can see the coil unit in all its glory and i shall even because i can unscrew that hey this is getting dead professional because i can see it looks all right and there, there's the coil unit that's that's what your 275 buys you and it screws in into the bottom this uh the aspire bdc is ego threaded <coughs> the um mini nova b uh, aspire mini nova is 510 threaded and then screws back together Comsa or like so Comsa being french for like so quite yes <coughs> oh, i'm a polyglot <coughs> I, I, I'm, I'm illiterate in five languages there you go that's the aspire bdc bottom dual coil i like it i like the aspire technology it's good and i'm ever so grateful uh to daz at safer sigs for putting us onto them because he was singing their praises left right and center it is nice you're enjoying that one you see you? i always like the glass where you, you you've got full vision of the juice now it's funny that because i was talking to jill earlier on and she has got the smoked finish oh, aspire right. where you can't see the juice unless you hold it up to the light right and she prefers that she doesn't want to be able to see the juice in case it's been in a little bit too long and it's discolored yes which can happen which she's not uh, i say it's happened with that has it yes and she's she's not she's not massively keen on when the juice discolors um i, I agree with jill on this one i like the I small don't. one because at least i can see the level of juice aha uh -huh. I don't want to see more, so I agree. I've got the smoked one as well. I think it, I think it must be a lady thing, mm -hmm. I, because Not the point I, that would bother me one way or the other. Well, I like to see me juice. I like to yes. know where it's going and what yes. it's doing when it gets there. You know. Um, yes. What? Have I said something Future. I shouldn't? <laughs> <laughs> I, I know that sigh from Chris. <laughs> you hear it? Yeah. I hear it so often, and I've never under. <sighs> just goes like that. <sighs> I have no idea why. Yeah. No. Nice. No. Yes. Carry on. Right, I Carry will. Carry on. Lamental That's what it reminds me of. Carry on. Lamental <laughs> says it looks like a lot of atties are being made now with a shroud around them. Perhaps it's to prevent people from rebuilding them. Actually, I don't know whether it's to prevent people rebuilding them or whether they've just found a technology that works and they are a little concerned about... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? <sighs> quality? Not so much the efficacy as the quality, efficacy. maybe. I like the use of the word shroud there. Shroud. That's a yes. Shrouded. You huh? can rebuild them if you can be bothered. I can, to be honest, I can't be asked. Well, not when you're saying they're two pounds something. I mean, I did recoil um one of these things i can't remember which one it took me forever well see i i take the view rightly or wrongly and i and, and i reckon if you're gonna get five or six weeks and jill's had five weeks now out of her aspire <coughs> if she's gonna get five weeks out of it for two pounds 75 that's what is it 55 pence a week yes which is 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 less than 10 pence a day mm -hmm. I mean, crikey Moses, you know, what can you get for that? Mm. And it's maybe it's a bit of, I know there's, mm. uh, it, it's mm. great fun recoiling and, and what have you, if you're into it. But for, the, for those of us that are idle beggars and have fingers like bananas, I mean, it's for now. It's, mm -hmm. it's not even worth 
You know, you could you could literally buy ten and they'll see you through a year. If you've just yes. got the one aspire device. So that's that's where I'm at. And five weeks isn't bad. And as Moonlit said, three quid for a month's worth of vaping is decent. Too right it is. Absolutely right. Seven, oh, Scree has his calculator out and he says mm -hmm. it's 7.85 pence a day. Thank you, Scree. Seven, I didn't know you could get a 0.85 penny coin, but never mind. There you go. <laughs> and he's Phil Emerson's saying he recoils his pro tank, but the Aspire coils last forever, so it's not worth doing. So there you go. It's not just me. It's not just me. It's not about economy, but taste, that's cool as well. I, I actually do like the taste that's coming out of them. Need to hit these two juices. Right. Ashley yes. Malpass. Thank you, Ashley. Sent these up, and I declined to give them a try during last week's strangeness uh, when we went into, uh, into team talk mode after having completely ruined my palate and my lungs with certain other juices that had come from certain other places who, when they, yes. apparently when they saw the video, fell about laughing. Really? Yeah, well, that's fine. At your discomfort. At my discomfort, but I don't care. Right, these are called <laughs> BJ1 and BJ2. Ashley Malpass sent them up. Um, Nanofog e juice. I'll, I'll, whoops, Nano wrong camera. There we go. Nanofog e juice, that's what it says. Well, come on, David, get yourself right. There you go. Nanofog e juice. This is BJ2 and uh, BJ1. There you go. And these are 35 PG to 65 VG, 36 milligram. But there's no flavour denomination on them, which is fine. And I'll give you that one. I have a go. <coughs> That's the first one. I've stuck it in a, in a... I've forgotten what it's called now. But it's a taste natty. Brand new natty. Never been used for anything. Oh, look at that. Tell me what you taste. Now that's nice. It is, isn't it? Mm. I thought you'd like that. Yeah, Liam D. Vapor has... Uh, yes, I'm not reading out what he read. BJ, you know what's coming, don't you? Mm -hmm. I'm making no reference to any adverts that might just have appeared on YouTube. <laughs> Like that. Lovely rounded flavour that. That's the BJ2. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. I, mean, you ha um, I had to go there. I had to go there. That's that's the BJ2. Um, I think it's a caramel macchiato. Definitely a caramel. Yeah, caramel flavor. macchiato. There's a lovely, rich. Mm. Coffee and caramel, it tastes like a Starbucks caramel macchiato when it's been made by a proper barista. It's gorgeous. That's beautiful. It that. is nice, isn't it? It is nice. Do you want to try the other one? Right, BJ1. Right. right. I'll, I'll take that back so that we'll... Same device, you see. <coughs> on, on the same device. Same device on the same device. At the same uh, voltage. I'm running in voltage mode. Because it's, it's an early Z mark. I'll just this. clear my palate. Mm, you clear your palate, Keith. Mm-hmm. Mm. That. Oh, yum. <coughs> you try that. That is so, so very pleasant. Mm. Very now sweet, caramelly, that? toffee, cream. No, no, no. Yes. Mm. Yes. Very, very pleasant. And I think, safe to say, it was very wise not to have uh, gone into these last week because they were way too nice to, uh, to have even attempted to try. Both after, very after nice. The gorgeous, aren't they? Yes. Really, really Perfect. nice. To now, my palate, the first one I think would have the edge. It's stronger flavoured, definitely. Mm. And and if you if you uh, if 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 you like a caramel macchiato, you would love that. If you're into caramel, this Nanofog BJ One, 
is just delish. <coughs> UK sourced farmer grade nicotine liquid PGVG and PG based flavouring all held together by cunning nanites. There couldn't be a sharper contrast to what you were trying. Last, you know, last, last week, yes. no, you're too bloody right, aye. <coughs> Never again. Never again. There you go. Um, again, I'll bring these along mm. to the knees meet. Did we mention the knees meet? I'll mention the knees meet. I'll mention the knees meet the way Chris does it. Here we go. There you go, that's the, the knees meet that's taking place on Saturday in South Shields. Um, everything you've seen tonight I'm going to have with me, <coughs> together with other stuff as well. So if you want to try anything that we've looked at tonight, um, <coughs> I'll see you there. It'll be good. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be great. Chris is going to be there, aren't you, Chris? I will be, yes. And Sav will be there. Daz will. Daz will be there. Uh, uh, Mark will be there. There'll be loads of people there. All kinds of folks. It'll be good. Come along. We'll see you there. We've run out of time. And over. Yes. Well, I was oh, trying to be polite. Being told off there. Oh dear. I'm going to get my ass smacked on yes. Saturday now. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, in you know, public. That'll, that'll be your pleasure. Well, the question is who's going to be doing it, isn't it? It is. Me. Just you. <laughs> With help. Oh, who, who, who? Tell us. <laughs> well, everybody that's there will be holding you down. Keep you <clears> close. <throat> No, 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 no. It's got to be all female or it's not happening. <laughs> okay, well, let Dar step in instead. Oh, give order. <laughs> no, without a shadow of a doubt. Talking about Daz, he's on. Now, DJ Bobo. <laughs> which camera? That camera. DJ Bobo is spinning the wheels of steel over on RY4 oh. radio. Go and give him a listen. Apparently, he's very good at what he does. There you are. Um, as per usual, it has been a joy and a pleasure to spend the last hour with you and with Chris and with Keith. Um, How time flies. It does go stopping by. I hope you've enjoyed the show. It's been packed, feature packed tonight. It has, hasn't We've it? We've never looked at as much stuff in a show. No. Never looked at as much as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten things we've looked at tonight. It's usually only three. So there you go. Um, and don't forget to tune in uh, tomorrow night, Friday night, for the lock-in with Tim. Uh, tune in on Sunday for Dave Kitson, Dave's Tackle Box. Tune in on Monday for Gary Dibley and Mark, Tinny Tip. Tune in on Tuesday for, um, yes, Marco <coughs> Van Basten, uh, Vapor Scene, followed by DE Talk. And then VT Talk will be back next Wednesday with all kinds of exciting news, we hope. Until then, from Kat, from Keith. And from myself, thank you all for tuning in. We'll see you all next time. Until then, vape on. Good night. Vape hard. Good night. And nil carborundum illegitimi. Because we're posh, you know. See you later. Bye. Bye. <coughs>
Sapers Eggs. Sponsors of the Haze Hour.